Okay, so I'm here with Andy Hannigan of Bounce Foods. G'day Andy. How are you? Good mate, good. So tell me about, a bit about your business. <coughs> mate, we, uh, we're importers and exporters of health food products. Um, we, uh, we have a couple of ranges uh, that we sell and distribute uh, within Australia and uh, in a few different parts of the world. Um, we uh, operate out of uh, uh, the central coast, Copacabana, which you can see behind me, uh, which is a fabulous part of the world. And how long have you been in business? Uh, we've been in business five years. Uh, my wife and I started the business five years ago and uh, we've gotten past the first statistic on small businesses that uh, the amount of small businesses that failed in the first two years. So we, we, we went past that hurdle and uh, we've been going strongly for five years and see uh, another a good four or five years of strong growth for, for our business at least. So speaking of that, where would you see Bounce Foods being in five years' time? I think that we, uh, being the small business that we are, we operate within uh, niche categories uh, in the health food sector. I think that uh, we'll continue to operate in this niche area. I think that um, there's a spot for us for, for small businesses that, um, that can bring to market unique products uh, that uh, the major food companies aren't supplying to the market. We, uh, we can supply products that have the highest integrity, the greatest quality of ingredients and deliver a, a product to the market that um, isn't currently being offered out there. So I, I, I foresee that we'll continue in this space and in five years time hopefully we've got a portfolio uh, that's strong enough and brands that are strong enough for us to uh, look attractive to the major food companies to say okay well these guys are doing good things that's really good. Let's really take a good look at them. Did you always want to have your own business? <clears throat> I find it very hard to work for other people. Um, uh, I don't know whether that's uh, the um, <laughs> the part of me that doesn't like to be told what to do, but uh, I, I I, mean, I I find it easy to drive and motivate myself, and therefore I've, I find it easy to work uh, for myself. Um, and find the challenge of uh, operating and owning a small business uh, in incredibly rewarding. So I wouldn't have it any other way and will continue to work for myself going forward. So with the Bounce products, where can people buy your product? We, five years ago, uh, started selling our Bounce products uh, in, in the health food channel. Uh, and over the last five years we've managed to grow into different channels. Uh, we've been uh, expanding our, our, our consumer reach by going into new channels. So now the products are, are available in most health food stores. Uh, in New South Wales the likes of Harris Farm stocked the product. Um, we've managed to pick up uh, Caltex um, service station which is, a, which, is a, um, which is a huge account for us to pick up in terms of uh, reach but then also uh, the consumer and uh, acceptability of the product in a broader market uh, and we're also selling into 200 Woolworth stores. One of our other major partners is Fitness First. They have 100 gyms uh, nationally uh, and we have managed to uh, sell into that channel for three years and, and hold our spot and compete with some of the larger brands within that sector. <coughs> You have a new product, Natural High Shakes. Do you want to just spruik that a bit? Yeah, we, we over, over the last five years, we're, we've obviously built a, a, a network of, of stores that we sell to and we've built a, a foundation of consumers that understand what Bounce does and uh, they they um, loyal consumers in, in relation to um, buying into the values that we have to offer in the market. So because the network was there, and the foundation of all those stores, we, we, you know, fr from our perspective it was always about well, what can we create next that's going to leverage our position in the market, um, give our consumers, our loyal consumers, something else with the same sort of integrity um, in terms of ingredients uh, and, and value proposition. So <clears throat> we went to work with a food technologist uh, and we essentially were designing a kids um, chocolate and vanilla milkshake, behind that we hit loads of goodies like spirulina, corella, um, probiotics, omega-3 and we figured that we we got the the taste profile right for the kids um, because uh, out of the 50 kids that we tested uh, 49 said yes to the taste 
Um, <clears throat> so once we uh, had that sort of uh, response back from the market and from the testing that we did, we figured that we'd made a fairly good kids product, so on the back of that we made an adult version as well. So there's two natural high versions. Uh, one is a, a kids superfood shake and the other is, a, is an adult superfood shake. Um, we've just started selling that into the market now. Uh, it's in its embryonic stages, uh, but feel that um, with the right push and, and, and all the bounce consumers out there that love what we've done already, we feel that we're gonna have uh, another successful product range. Okay, the last two questions are my two favourite ones. What's the biggest challenge you face being a small business owner? And then what's the best part about being a small business owner? I think, uh, you know, inevitably the, the biggest challenge with small business and particularly with the business that we have, um, it's all around how you manage your cash. Uh, we uh, buy products um, from, uh, we import products from America. Uh, it takes 42 days for a product to leave their warehouse and get to ours. We, our trading terms are 45 days. Uh, then, so, so we're essentially paying for product before we've even sold it. So ca managing our cash is probably the biggest challenge um, of, our, of our business. And our systems are in place so that uh, weekly, probably daily, we know where our cash position is. And thank goodness I have my beautiful wife that uh, is the financial controller. She keeps a very keen eye on that. And the other thing I think is also, um, you know, you can sell products, um, but you also have to bring in the money as well. So um, if you let your, uh, you know, if you let your customers go too, if you give them too much rope, um, they'll, uh, you know, try and stretch you out as much as you can. And, and in the last couple of years, the, the bigger you are, the more, you know, the bigger companies are pushing each other around in terms of who wants to give you the cash. So um, in the nicest possible way, Paula, with the most beautiful uh, voice, <laughs> Um, uh, you know, manages that part of the business, but but that is probably the biggest challenge. But uh, you know, it's just part of part of being a small business. And the best part? The best part I find is the autonomy. Um, I like being the creator of our own destiny. Um, I like the, the the challenge, and I guess the pressure of you know, if this business is going to uh, happen, uh, you know, the responsibility solely falls on largely my shoulders um, and although it's a big responsibility I, I love that challenge and um, to you know to get up in the morning and be motivated um, to make it happen um, you know to ride the challenges because you know a, a man once said to me that in a small business um, you know challenges are like waves in the ocean um, as long as you're in the ocean swimming some days you're going to have a calm sea uh, other days it's going to be a howling subtly and 10 foot surf and you, you've really just got to be able to weather the, the challenges and, uh, and, and although that can be <laughs> extremely stressful at times it's also uh, very rewarding because when you, when you come through the challenging days where the surf is 10 foot, um, the calm days where you can sit back and uh, acknowledge that you've gotten through the challenges and um, you know, get some of the rewards for you know sticking with it and holding the nerve. Um, that to me is incredibly satisfying. So the you know the the best part for me, the most rewarding part is uh, is knowing that you've got up got up in the morning, faced faced the challenges and gotten through it, and you can hold your help, head head held uh, high and you know be proud that you've got a small business that's successful. Okay, Andy, thanks for your time.